fish on. Whoo! That's a good one. Jessica done sitting up and Kay is on a pink Vibrex and I am on a green Vibrex. We'll see if you can catch fish first. We tried fishing this spot for a couple hours, but uh, no bites, no activities either. So we're just gonna go uh, grab breakfast and head to the next spot. Our breakfast for today is smoked milkfish. It's a Filipino fish and eggs. While waiting for the fish to be done, I'm gonna make a sauce. I need chili, lemon, and soy sauce. Soy sauce, slice the lemon. I don't have any chopping board, squeeze it here. And now, cut the chili. The Philippines sealing labuyo. The sauce is done. It's making eggs. <laughs> and now the food is ready. Let's eat. So I just got down breakfast. And now we are headed to the next spot. Move to the next spot, and just like that, Kay's got a fish on. Oh. All right, fish on. Question is how am I gonna land this thing? <laughs> no net. I'm gonna cast very far away. See if I can catch anything. Oh, they're here. They're here right in front of me. Hmm. 
Ooh, fish on. Woo. That's a good one. He's fine. Quickly bonk him in the head. Oh, hopefully I can bonk him. Another fish on. Feels like a smaller one. Smaller one? All right, so definitely got a lot of fish here. And Sean just picked up one of the beer cans there. It's definitely challenging trying to pull this, all of this fish <laughs> on the way back to the shore. So just had to move the, uh, the car because there's definitely a lot of fish. Definitely a good day fishing. Case on another silver. Ooh, and keep him. Ooh, that's a good one. Fish on. It's a little one. Where are you going? Okay, I want to go this way. Okay. Let's go this way. So somehow we have a lot of visitors today. There's a lot of crows. Look at that. Just got back to the fishing spot. Hasn't been a whole lot of activities here. See a couple of fish just swimming around, but haven't seen a whole lot of folks catch fish. We decided to go look for the fish. So we're walking down a little bit away from the shore. So kind of see if we can catch anything. So every so often you can kind of see some fish just swim around right there. But uh, for some reason I just can't uh, snag them. Which by the way we're actually using uh, snagging hooks right now. We're not trying to lure the uh, fish. We're just trying to snag them in and definitely don't want to release them because 
this is not a catch and release fishing this is catch and put it in your cooler type of fishing all right folks so changed my rig to spinner just kind of curious to see if they're still biting fish on so they're still biting i guess got a, a green spinner on Look at that, he's pretty calm. You see that? Net it. Yep, net it. Okay, he's pretty calm. Ready? Up. Good job. Bump it. Bump it. So they're still biting. They're still biting. Yes. They're still biting. <laughs> awesome. That's a nice, that's a nice silver. Nice Look at that. Silver, yeah. Look at that. That's a nice silver. All right, folks, I just got done fishing. And now we're going to just go ahead and pack up and get ready to go. All right, folks, so we started to drive back, uh, but before we head back, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, stop in a couple of spots. We're currently at the uh, Thompson Pass. Uh, just driving through but we saw this one lake so I don't know the name of this lake but it looks very nice That is the uh, Worthington Glacier. Currently just Sean and I, and we're gonna go check out the uh, Worthington Glacier viewpoint. That's a better view. There's a couple of small ice caves right along the edge of the glacier. So this is so unplanned. Sean and I are gonna try to make it to the glacier. It looks very close. Glacier water. Very interesting. Wow, look at that. that. Alright, so finally, look at that. That's a glacier right there. <laughs> look at that bluish color. That is very nice. This is awesome. Sean found another glacier. Look at that. And definitely wanna wanna be careful around these areas because uh, especially if you want to visit uh, Worthington Glacier in the summer, the uh, temperature gets so hot to where all these small caves uh, tend to collapse. Be careful guys if you guys plan on uh, hiking the Worthington Glacier. I found this one little 
glacier cave here and you can definitely feel the difference between the outside temperature and the inside temperature of the glacier. It feels like a refrigerator. Walking back to the parking lot. That was a good hike.